Hey Rocketeers, Charlie Rocket here, and it is time for another awesome love story for you guys. Um, I've only shared one so far, and I told you guys we would enter the new year with love, and it's almost the new year, and I haven't shared another one. Um, as some of you know, because I posted in my story, one of my friends from college passed away um, the day before yesterday. Um, I would really love to share a story about him, but I'm going to wait because it's still kind of fresh and it's really been hitting me a lot harder than I expected because I haven't talked to him in years um, and that actually made it hurt more um, because I feel like we don't keep in contact with the people we love as much as we should and because of that I'm going to share a story about some of my friends uh, who are also friends of his uh, in college who I used to hang out with all the time um, so in college my dorm was in an apartment complex and I lived in the same shared apartment with my best friend um, and we'd have a third roommate who would change every so often but like who cares um so it was me and my best friend Teresa and across the street in a different building was one of our other best friends Kirk uh and we had our group was the poos and it was me and Teresa and Kirk and Jordal and there's some other poos in there Tavares and all of my lovely friends I used to model with but um but one day I remember I was uh, hanging out in Teresa's room and there was a spider and Teresa and I flipped out. We were like, ah, spider. It wasn't like the biggest spider in the whole world, but you know, any spider is scary <laughs> to me. If it has more than six legs, I'm not here for it. Spiders, centipedes, millipedes, whatever the heck, get out of here. So anywho, we were scared of this spider we were screaming and it was while we were on the phone with kirk we were talking to kirk about i don't know just crazy stuff and we start screaming we're like spider spider yo next thing we know kirk bust through our door in our room walked in took his shoe off and just smacked the spider then he put his shoe back on and then he just walked out and we were all like kind of in shock because we didn't know he was coming <laughs> and we we're like and he just walked out he didn't wait for a response he didn't say anything he walked out we looked out the window he was walking back across the street back to his room <laughs> but i wanted to share that because that's real love right there that is like true friendship that is real love somebody who's just gonna show up even when you don't ask them to show up you need something they just gonna show up and handle business and walk out doesn't matter what they were doing yo he was in like a wife beater and like some shorts he clearly was in his room chilling do rag on everything walked on over killed a spider walked right out right back across the street and that's why he's my poo that is why these people mean so much to me because they show up when you need it you don't have to ask you don't have to say nothing you don't have to do nothing they just show up help you out and call it a day so that's my story for today i love all my poos i miss my Evalesco family so much. I love you guys. I love you, Pernell, and I miss you already, even though we haven't talked in so long, and I just love you all. Know that through this video, every single one of you guys from every single semester who came through there, who lived with us, who walked with us, who ate with us, who did all supported us everybody around us i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i miss you guys i miss you so much good and bad we was always family so i love you thank you guys so much this has been a lovely video all about love friendship make sure you tell people you love them do it today do it do it do it love you guys